India, a colorful country with 1.3 billion people. India is simply buzzing with life. Home to different religions and cultures living side by side. But not only different people are sharing this unique place. Here, humans and animals live their certainly not easy lives side by side. And this does not come without problems. The streets of Indian cities are full with stray animals such as cats, dogs and even cows find themselves abandoned on the side of the road when they're no longer of any use to their owner. This is actually illegal under Indian law since owners have to care for their animals until the day they die. With the amount of traffic here, accidents between cars and animals are unfortunately no rare occurrence. In most cases, the animals either die immediately or die a slow and painful death on the side of the road. Such accidents are not the only problem. In consumer societies like this one, waste management is a major challenge and actually a lot of plastic waste gets thrown on the side of the road. Many abandoned cows actually feed on that plastic waste until one day their body can no longer take it and they die of painful organ failure. We are here in the North Indian city of Udaipur, Rajasthan. Here, not all hope is lost for these animals. Only five kilometers from here is Animal Aid, an organization that rescues and treats these animals in need. Actually, they need volunteers, so we decided to go and spend the day there and take care of the animals. <laughs> Hi, I'm Raj. I'm just working in Animal Aid from last two years. I'm working as a volunteer coordinator and public outreach. So this is our hospital as well as sanctuary for all the street stray animals of Udaipur. We are working from last more than 15 years and till now we have rescued more than 60,000 still animals till now. So we do rescue dogs, cows, donkeys, birds, pigs. So that's all it's going on. So the major problem of this, all these animals over here is like main cause is like accident. Like every day they get hit by cars, bikes, they get fracture, broken limbs. Most of them they get paralyzed. So in total, like right now we have around like 450 animals, including all these like dogs, cows and all. Around like we have got 80 paralyzed dogs. So we are just like giving them that massage, physiotherapy, hydrotherapy on daily basis. And if they really respond, there's a chance, there's a hope like they can walk again. Hey, Balu. So over here, like we can show you like the rescue things, like we are doing it, like the treatment, care and all. But besides that, like we are involved in education part also, like with the community. So we are going in school, college, societies, making people aware. We just like explain them, like spread our numbers. So like every day, like around like we are getting around like 30, 35 calls, average calls.
So sometimes we treat them on roadside. We ask people, like even if it's in a small wound, they can treat them over there. But most of the time, like in many cases, like we have to rescue and bring them over here. Every day, full-time employees, as well as volunteers from all over the world, come to spend their time at the shelter and take care of these animals in need. It's been a kind of a long and interesting, uh, if not absolutely fascinating, history to get to this point. I had come to India when I was really young and, and was kind of a part of the 60s in the world. I was 1961, I was about 20 years old and I came to India and I thought it was one of the most interesting. All new countries are interesting, but something seemed quite special about India. The, the, the behavior of people, while it was strange, I felt it had this odd sense of being more homely and more friendly more feminine. It's, mo it's not Mother India for nothing. We uh, began our look, uh, we had a friend who was interested in an orphanage here in Udaipur and we thought, uh, great, that might be a way if we're here we could contr contribute and be a part of, the, of that help. And so we, we started looking for some property for an orphanage. And while we were looking, and, and all the places we went, we always recognized animals. And, we, and then the more we recognized them, the more we saw that a lot of animals were in trouble. We went to Chotahawala, uh, a lovely little village of about 400 people. And that's where we lived. And we, the people that we were staying with, we got a small space that we started a small hospital for animals. For about eight years, we were in that shelter and we, we liked it just fine. Uh, but it got to the point that we, we couldn't continue a lease there. So we met the man who's the owner of this property where we're sitting right now and not only did we get a better monthly rate, uh, it was the first place that offered us a 20-year lease on a property. We wondered when we started our animal rescue program if anybody really would respond. Uh, did it matter to them? Uh, and we thought, well, let's try this for a few years. If they're not interested, then maybe there's another idea. Maybe we should do something else or another country or wherever. And it didn't take long before, after waiting by the phone for a long time, the calls started to come. And recently, I'm told, we're getting between maybe 25 to 35 calls a day from Indians in Hindi making their plea on behalf of Animal Aid to come quickly because an animal that they've come across is injured and hurt and needs help. Animal Aid is currently home to about 450 animals, including paralyzed and blind dogs, orphaned calves and donkeys. Some of these animals will stay at the sanctuary for their lifetime due to the intensive long-term treatments. While for others, coming here is the end of a long and painful journey and all the people here can do is offer these beings a few days of quiet and a peaceful death. All the animals that have recovered will be set free exactly where they have been found. You may wonder why they would release these animals back on the street, but actually it's each and everyone's responsibility to care for the health, safety and well-being of these animals, and not just that of animal aid.